Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the temperature sensor in the Samsung refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a Phillips and a flatbed screwdriver, a putty knife, and some masking tape. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new temperature sensor. This temperature sensor is mounted on the upper portion of the rear cover in the fresh food section. It monitors the temperature inside the section and relays the info to the main control board in order to determine the length of the refrigeration cycle. If you discover a warmer or colder than usual compartment temperature and you can't adjust it using the controls, the temperature sensor should be tested and replaced if needed. In order to get to the part, we need to open the fresh food door. The fresh food temperature sensor is located behind the grill up on the top of the panel. We will start with removing shelves. We'll need to remove this uh, one, two, and three light covers. And I'm going to use the uh, putty knife. Slide the putty knife into this uh, opening here. Push it in on the tab and open the light cover. There's uh, three small hinges there at the back, so we can slide it out. I repeat the same procedure on this side. Continue on to the upper light cover using the putty knife. We're going to stick it right there and pry this thing open. And continue up. There's a few more. And we can remove the other side. Our next step would be removal of this uh, LED light strip. I'm going to use the flat basket driver and I'm going to pry this off slowly, carefully. And take it out, pull it down a little bit and uh, disconnect the plug on the top. Push down the locking tab, pull it apart. Next step would be removal of the four fillet screws, two right here and the two inside those holes here. We're going to start with the bottom ones. We're going to use the Phillips screwdriver and we're going to remove all these four screws. Now we're going to remove the panel, pull it off the wall slowly. There are a couple of uh, pins that we'll have to disengage. Sure. And then we're going to pull it up. And now it's the interesting part that we need to reach behind the panel and unplug two plugs there. Now press down the tab on the top of the plug and pull it out. So we're going to repeat it on the same uh, same thing on the left plug, push it down and pull it out. And we can tilt that panel forward more and pull it up from the lower evaporator cover. Uh, let's place the panel on the workable surface and we're going to start with uh, peeling off this insulation and we're going to reuse it so don't throw it away and next use the flat blade screwdriver going to press down on the tab and open the cover and then we can remove the uh, old temperature sensor
This is the old temperature sensor next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. Place the new temperature sensor into the holder. And then the wire, it will go into that little groove here. And then I'm going to lock the holder. Secure that sensor in place. And then we're going to install the insulation. And then we're going to bond those two plugs together. And this wall here on the left. That means that would be left side plug, and uh, this wall is on the right. That would be the right side plug. I'm going to use uh, masking tape. Tape them together. And now we can install it back into the fridge. Okay, we're going to start with uh, putting the bottom first in and pull out the evaporator cover. So we can slide this in. Keep it away from the wall and we will do this uh, blind trick by plugging those two plugs. And now we can place it in and secure the panel with uh, Phillips screws using the Phillips screwdriver. Uh, we're ready to install the light strip back in. Our beautiful LED lights plug in the electrical plug on the top. Slide it in, and we are going to place it with one side under the tabs along the uh, and that opening here. Slide it under the left side, and then press in to lock the right side. I'm going to install that upper light cover, place it over the opening and push in the tabs. I'm going to install the light covers. First I'm going to insert these three hinges into the openings, press it in, and then I'm going to lock these two tabs. Same thing on the opposite side, hinges first, push them in, and then the tabs. And let's put the shelves back in. Now we can close the door. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.